Welcome to Stoichiometry Review Guide, Part 1. So we're going to look just at molar mass in this chunk of the review guide. So, so if you've already got molar mass, skip this video. You don't need to spend time practicing stuff that you already know. But if you feel like molar mass, finding and calculating molar mass is something that you're still struggling with, this clearly is the place to be. So, so finding molar mass, you definitely need to have available your handy dandy periodic table. So if you don't have it, find it or open up the link that I sent through Google Classroom so that you can look at it. So the beginning of the review guide just helps us practice uh, molar mass. And as it says here, we're just going to use the average atomic mass as given to us on the periodic table. Our label will be grams per mole. And to find masses of elements, molar masses of elements, we just look at that periodic table. So I know that iron is Fe. So I go look at my periodic table and I find Fe. Here it is right in the middle. And so this is our molar mass 55.845. Label grams per mole. Same thing for bismuth. I go look at the periodic table. Bismuth is all the way down here, number 83. My mass is 208.980. Sorry, it's kind of blurry on the screen. Or I should put my glasses on. 208.980. And so bismuth is 208.980. Oh, grams per mole. Don't forget your label. Carbon's an easy one. You've probably got it memorized already. Carbon's up here. 12.011 grams per mole. And then gold. We'll look again at the periodic table. Gold's here in the middle. Well, bottom of the middle. 196.967. 196.967, and again, grams per mole. Good. So now we're going to get a little trickier, and we're going to look not just at elements by themselves, but compounds. So H2O, water, is going to be two hydrogens and one oxygen. So I'm going to look at the mass of hydrogen on the periodic table. It's 1.008 plus the mass of one oxygen, 15.999. I use my calculator, two times 1.008 plus 15.999, and we get 18.015 grams per mole. It's the molar mass of water. Calcium carbonate, this one's a little more difficult because we actually have to write a formula for the thing. So calcium, whoa, calcium has a charge of plus two, Carbonate is a polyatomic ion, so we need to look at my list of polyatomic ions. It's CO3 with a charge of minus 2. Happily, those charges balance each other out, so my formula is CaCO3. So now I need to add 1 calcium, 1 carbon, 3 oxygens. I go look at the periodic table. Calcium is 40.078. Carbon is 12.011. Oxygen is 15.999. So I add those all up, 40.078 plus 12.011 plus 3 times 15.999, and we get a grand total of 100.086. Don't forget your label, grams per mole. Iron 3 oxide, iron is Fe. This Roman numeral 3 is telling us that the charge is plus 3. Oxide is oxygen. Its charge is a minus 2. Those don't balance each other out. I need to make them balance. The least common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So I need 2 Fe's to make a positive 6. And I need 3 O2's, sorry, 3 O's to make a negative 6. 2 times 3 is plus 6. 3 times 2, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So this is our formula for iron 3 oxide.
So now I need two irons and three oxygens. I look at my handy dandy periodic table. Iron is 55.845 and oxygen is 15.999. So I'm going to do that iron times two, two times 55.845. I'm gonna add three oxygens, three times 15.999. Multiply and add, and you should get 159.687 grams per mole. Good. Silver one nitrate. Silver is AG. That Roman numeral means that I have a charge of plus one. Nitrate is a polyatomic ion. Its formula is NO3 with a charge of minus one. Plus one, minus one balances out. So my formula is AgNO3. I need one silver, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. Handy dandy periodic table. Silver is here, 107.868. Nitrogen is here, 14.007. Oxygen, once again, 15.999 times three. Whoopsie, I went the wrong way. So we're going to do that. Silver, 107.8. Eight six eight plus that one nitrogen fourteen point oh oh seven plus three oxygens fifteen point nine nine nine, and we add those all up, and you should get one hundred and sixty nine point eight seven two. Don't forget your label grams per mole. Good. Lithium chloride. Lithium is Li. It has a charge of plus one. Chlorine is Cl. It has a charge of minus one. Happily, those balance each other out. So my formula is L-I-C-L. Lithium's mass is 6.941. Chlorine's mass is over here, 35.453. So we're going to do that. 6.941 for lithium plus 35.453 for chlorine. Only need one of each. That's nice. We add them up and we get... 42.394. What's my label? Grams per mole. Good. Magnesium nitrate. Magnesium is Mg. He has a charge of plus two. Nitrate is that same polyatomic ion we were looking at down here. NO3 with a charge of minus one. Not a balance. Plus two, minus one. I need two of these to balance out that plus two over here. So I'm going to take this whole thing and give it a two. What that means is that I have one magnesium, I have two nitrogens, and I have two times three, two times three, oh my gosh. The pen thinks it's smarter than I am. Two times three makes six oxygens. Good. Magnesium on my handy dandy periodic table is right here, 24.305. Nitrogen is still 14.007. Oxygen is still 15.999. We add those all up. One magnesium, 24.305, plus two nitrogens, 14.007, plus six oxygens, 15.999, gives us 148. 0.313 grams per mole. Good. Silicon dioxide. This is a covalently bonded compound. We need to use our prefixes. I have one silicon. That's SI. I have dioxide. That's two oxygens. So you need one silicon, two oxygens. Handy dandy periodic table. Silicon is right here. 28.086. Oxygen is yet again 15.999. So I add those up. Silicon, we said, was 28.066. And oxygen, 2 times 15.999 gives us a grand total of 60.064 grams per mole. Good, good. Copper 2 chloride. Copper has a Roman numeral of 2. That means I'm looking at copper with a charge of plus 2. Chloride has a charge of minus 1 not a balance. So I need two of these to deal with that plus two. So my formula is going to be CuCl2. 
I need one copper and two chlorines. I look at my hands dirty periodic table. Copper is here, 63.546. Chlorine's over here, 35.453. I add those up. One copper, 63.546, plus two chlorines, 35.453. Grand total of 134.452 grams per mole. Good. So this is finding molar mass. If you need to listen to this again, definitely do it. You need more practice problems, email me. I can send you more practice. Um, if you feel like this is a, a done deal, you've got it. Move on to mole conversion.